And then Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel looked down from heaven and saw much blood being shed upon the earth, and all the lawlessness being wrought upon the earth. And they said to one another, The earth made without inhabitant cries the voice of their crying up to the gates of heaven. And now to you, the holy ones of heaven, the souls of men make their suit, saying, Bring our cause before the Most High. And they said to the Lord of ages, Lord of lords, God of gods, King of kings and God of the ages, the throne of your glory stands unto all the generations of the ages. In your name holy and glorious and blessed unto all the ages. You have made all things, and power over all things you have, and all things are naked and open in your sight and you see all things, and nothing can hide itself from you. You see what Azazel has done, who has taught all unrighteousness on earth and revealed the eternal secrets which were preserved in heaven, which men were striving to learn, and Semjaza, to whom you have given authority to bear rule over his associates. And they have gone to the daughters of men upon the earth, and have slept with women, and have defiled themselves, and revealed to them all kinds of sins. And the women have borne giants, and the whole earth has been filled with blood and unrighteousness. And now, behold, the souls of those who have died are crying and making their suit to the gates of heaven. And their lamentations have ascended and cannot cease because of the lawless deeds which the eleven wrought on the earth. And you know all things before they come to pass, and you see these things, and you do not say to us what we are to do to them in regard to these. Then said the Most High, the Holy and Great One spoke and sent Uriel to the son of Lamech and said to him, Go to Noah and tell him in my name, Hide yourself and reveal to him the end that is approaching, that the whole earth will be destroyed and a deluge is about to come upon the whole earth and will destroy all that is on it. And now instruct him, that he may escape, and his seed may be preserved for all the generations of the world. And again the Lord said to Raphael, Bind Azazel hand and foot, cast him into the darkness, and make an opening in the desert, which is in Dudiel, and cast him there. And place him upon rough and jagged rocks, and cover him with darkness, and let him abide there forever, and cover his face that he may not see light. And on the day of the great judgment he shall be cast into the fire, and heal the earth which the angels have corrupted, and proclaim the healing of the earth, that they may heal the plague, and that all the children of men may not perish through all the secret things that the watchers have disclosed and have taught their sons. And the whole earth has been corrupted through the works that were taught by Azazel. To him ascribe all sin. And to Gabriel the Lord said, Proceed against the bastards and the reprobates and against the children of fornication, and destroy the children of fornication and the children of the watchers from among men, and cause them to go forth. Send them one against the other, that they may destroy each other in battle. For length of days shall they not have. 
and no request that they make of you shall be granted unto their fathers on their behalf. For they hope to live an eternal life, and that each one of them will live five hundred years. And the Lord said to Michael, Go, bind Simjaza and his associates who have united themselves with women so as to defile themselves with them and all their uncleanliness. And when their sons have slain one another, and they have seen the destruction of their beloved ones, bind them fast for seventy generations in the valley of the earth till the day of their judgment and of their consummation, till the judgment that is forever and ever is consummated. In those days they shall be led off to the abyss of fire, and to the torment and the prison in which they shall be confined forever. And whosoever shall be condemned and destroyed will from then forth be bound together with them to the end of all generations. And destroy all the spirits of the reprobate and the children of the watchers, because they have wronged mankind. Destroy all wrong from the face of the earth, and let every evil work come to an end. And let the plant of righteousness and truth appear, and it shall prove a blessing. The works of righteousness and truth shall be planted in truth and joy forevermore. And then shall all righteousness escape, and shall live till they beget thousands of children. And all the days of their youth and their old age shall they complete in peace. And then shall the whole earth be tilled in righteousness, and shall all be planted with trees, and be full of blessing. And all desirable trees shall be planted on it, and they shall plant vines on it, and the vines which they plant shall yield wine in abundance. And as for all the seed which is sown there, each measure shall bear a thousand, and each measure of olives shall yield ten presses of oil. And cleanse the earth from all oppression, and from all unrighteousness, and from all sin, and from all godlessness, and all the uncleanness that is wrought upon the earth, destroy it from the face of the earth. And all the children of men shall become righteous, and all nations shall offer adoration and shall praise me, and all shall worship me. And the earth shall be cleansed from all defilement, and from all sin, and from all punishment, and from all torment. And I will never again send them upon it from generation to generation and forever. And in those days I will open the store chambers of blessing which are in the heavens, so as to send them down upon the earth over the work and labor of the children of men. And truth and peace shall be associated together throughout all the days of the world and throughout all the generations of men. Before these things, Enoch was hidden, and no one of the children of men knew where he was, and where he abode, and what had become of him. And his activities had to do with the watchers, and his days were with the holy ones. And I, Enoch, was blessing the Lord of majesty and the King of the ages, and lo, the watchers called to me, Enoch the scribe, and said to me, Enoch, you scribe of righteousness, go declare to the watchers of the heavens who have left the high heaven, the holy eternal place, 
and have defiled themselves with women, and have done as the children of earth do, and have taken unto themselves wives. You have wrought great destruction on the earth, and you shall have no peace nor forgiveness of sin. And inasmuch as they delight themselves and their children, the murder of their beloved ones they shall see, and over the destruction of their children shall they lament, and shall make supplication unto eternity, but mercy and peace you shall not attain. And Enoch went and said, Azazel, you shall have no peace. A severe sentence has gone forth against you to put you in bonds, and you shall have no toleration nor request granted to you because of the unrighteousness which you have taught and because of all the works of godlessness and unrighteousness and sin which you have shown to men. Then I went and spoke to them all together, and they were all afraid, and fear and trembling seized them, and they besought me to draw up a petition for them, that they might find forgiveness, and to read the petition in the presence of the Lord of heaven. For from thenceforward they could not speak with him, nor lift up their eyes to heaven for shame of their sins for which they had been condemned. Then I wrote out their petition and the prayer in regard to their spirits and their deeds individually and in regard to their requests that they should have forgiveness and length. And I went off and sat down at the waters of Dan in the land of Dan to the south of the west of Hermon. I read their petition till I fell asleep. And behold, a dream came to me, and visions fell down upon me, and I saw visions of chastisement, and a voice came bidding me to tell it to the sons of heaven, and reprimand them. And when I awakened, I came to them, and they were all sitting together, weeping with their faces covered. And I recounted before them all the visions which I had seen in sleep, and I began to speak the words of righteousness and to reprimand the heavenly watchers.